Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon. My name is Fikri Khaikal and here I am with my partner Jonathan Nicholas. In this video, we will present our materials which is language choice in multilingual communities of EFL context by Janet Holmes. And we are from group five. Okay, Jonathan, next slide, please. Okay, what is language choice in multilingual communities? In multiling multilingual community, the multilingual speakers speaker needs to make the right language choice, which principally depends on the domain of usage and the linguistic repertory of speech participants. One, its language, its language has many different form of it. Example, Arabic has many forms such as formal or classic Arabic. And the second is informal Saudi dialect. <clears throat> the number two is variety or code. A specific form of a language, the standard language is a variety too. Example, a variety can be a language, an accent, a dialect, and each. Three is speech community, a group of people who speak the same. Example, monolingual community, one variety and multilingual community, more, more than one variety. Okay, next slide. <clears throat> Example of language choice in multilingual communities. This is the example of the previous material, which is Kala is six, 16 years old. He lives in Bukayu, an Africa city in Eastern Zaire, with a population about 220,000. It is a multicultural city with more people coming and going for work and business reason than people who live there permanently. Over 14 groups speaking different, different language, languages can be found in the city. Kala, like many of his friends, is unemployed. He spends his day roaming the streets, stopping off periodically at regular meeting places in the marketplace, in the park, or at a friend's in or friend's place. During a normal day, he uses at least three different varieties or codes, and sometimes more. Okay, the next slide, please, Jonathan. <clears throat> Diaclosia. Two distinct varieties of the same languages used in the community with one regarded as a high variety, it called by H, and the other, a low variety, is called by L. Each variety is used for distinct functions. No one uses the H variety in everyday conversation. The example is Arabic. We use standard Arabic classic Arabic for formal situations, while in everyday conversation, we use informal Arabic. That's the example. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, this is the characteristics of HIT, H, and L varieties. High variety, first, used for official and formal situations such, such as on national TV, news broadcast, newspaper, and literary writing, and, and its other. The second is used for writing and spoke in formal events, like in the school, in the office, in meeting, like that. And the third is technical and formal terms. The fourth is learn at school, like you talk to your 
your teacher with formal language, not the everyday languages. The five is Cody Field. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, the next one is low variety. The first is used for informal situations and everyday conversation. It's just like you talk to your, your sister, your brother, your friends on the, on the playground. And the second is mainly spoken, write it in the chat. Yeah, you, it's just like you, you, you're chatting with your friend in WhatsApp or Facebook, like, yeah, like the work that every day we, we face. The, three, the third is mainly names of object and everyday activities. The fourth is acquired at home. Uh, maybe, maybe it's like uh, parents that talk to their children at home. And the five is not COVID, Cody field. Okay, next slide, please, Jonathan. Okay, this is the differences, the big differences between H and L, which is first linguistic difference between H and L. Example, G exists in colloquial Arabic, but not in standard Arabic. The second is the vocabulary is almost the same, but H has formal technical terms. So that is the, the main line that makes it different between L and H. Okay, the next presentation will be presented by Jonathan. Jonathan, your, the time is yours. Okay, thank you, Vicky. Okay, I will talk about the attitude toward H and L. Okay, for the H, or we can say high variety, the first one is, it is admired even if not understood. The second is, it is prestigious and thought of as having a higher status in society. And for the low variety or the L, uh, the first is about people don't think that it is worth describing. And last, some people value it and believe that it is the best way to express their feelings because it is the language they use every day. Next is about diglossia and polyglossia. Okay, diglossia. Diglossia is a characteristic of a speech community rather, rather than individual. And another uh, definition for the individual is bilingual and community is diglossic and for the polyglossial definition is uh, polyglossial have more than two distinct variety of the same language used for clearly distinct purpose. Okay, next is I'll talk about the code switching. Okay, code switching. Code switching, changing variety across sentences boundary and code switching can be a domain based or situational. It depends on where we happen to be. And the last is about the address base. And it when it happened when it is constrained by who we are and who we talking to and why do we code switching? We do code switch because of first situation, second the topic and the third social reason. Okay, for the situation, when there are, is an obvious change in the situation or to hide information from the third party, uh, the example like the arrival of someone and the, and the second is about the topic achieve, achieve a better explanation of a certain concept uh, the example like um, when a teacher switch from English to Arabic 
to make sure student understand what she say or what he say. And the third is about social reason. Uh, there are some definition about this reason. First is because it, it can become signal solidarity and reduce social distance and can increase social distance and show off or impress or persuade an audience and thus it can reflect on ethnic identity. Uh, the example we can see like on the phone, I'll see you tonight at the movie and all right, Jerry, say hi to your mom, bye. Okay, the next material is about the term of code switching. There are two, two terms. The first one is about code mixing. Uh, code mixing is changing variety across press boundary. It is also called tag switching. And the second is about lexical borrowing. It results from the lack of vocabulary and it involves borrowing single word or mainly nouns. And code mixing involves a choice between the words of two language or variety, but lexical borrowing is a result of lack of vocabulary. And for the notes, uh, switches motivated by the identity and relationship between the participant express a move along the distance scale. Uh, picture switches from standard to a vernacular to reduce the distance and create solidarity. And the technical topic are so associated with one code and usually the one taught in Arab medical student switch to English when discussing the medicine. Okay, I think that's all from us, group five. And okay, thank you, Jonathan. Uh, and we are very sorry that our laptop is not strong enough to display PowerPoint presentations where our laptop has problems when displaying all the PowerPoint with full screen. And sorry if there is if, if there is a wrong choice of words. And thank you for watching the videos of our presentation and see you.